Okay. What's your first question? The second dream that you had. What was it about? The second dream was something that I've seen for months, probably last couple of years now, but especially this last year, and you you all heard it, parts of it, where, uh, at, well, it, at, I just recorded the segment on, on England and like, like Earth was regenerating, and people groups were in different places, and you couldn't describe or find any continental country that you recognize huh. from out you know would zoom in and then I'd be like out looking at the globe but it was green right but it's so green so green and it seemed that it had been that way for some time because there were weeds growing in places you know um, you know that I did in the earlier tape the first segment uh, or first and second you'll know, pick that up so now there's a little segue in between. Okay. And the segue, the the hookup with the dreams is, I kept seeing cargo going down this enormous, you know, divide in in the North American continent, you know, Canada, America, all the way down where the glaciers had melted. That kind of thing. Hmm. And I talked a little bit with with little mother about this. But I saw cargo going down a river on these kind of uh, grayish kind of, I don't know what the material was that they used to make them, but obviously uh, the western part of what used to be America you know, we all had to kind of rebuild or whoever was there, even the quote-unquote armies and people like that, they didn't just magically have all their equipment and high-tech stuff. They had what was left after a war. Wow. And they were rebuilding and trying to come back from that. And even though Hang on a minute. there was an, an internal war in America, in the United States. So, as we moved, as I moved, just, I found myself here, there, wherever. And things were coming back and they were green, but there was this great divide, this great river in the middle that had come down from melted glaciers and heating, water intrusion, whatever. And even the plates shifting and pushing plates pushing away from each other and water goes to the lowest place so it's going to fill that in basically it was you know which you've heard before uh, what was left of the eastern states of the United States or the east coast coming in right about to where the edge of the Mississippi, the largest river, where it was. Mm -hmm. But because of the earth changes, tectonic, you know, mm -hmm. what came of those earthquake, war, whatever, the United States or America was just really different. The, the western part was larger, and the eastern part was smaller. With our main Mississippi River and its other rivers and tributaries mm -hmm. just overflowed and changed the whole landscape. Wow. And mountains that they literally had come down, valleys were filled in. Uh, I didn't see many mountains except the, the ones, except the ones where the refuges are around the world that were somehow protected from a lot of this kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, remnants of mountains, I would say. Hmm. And uh, so the Rocky watching, is still there. The Rocky Mountains. Just no, not not as we know them. Really? Yeah, just the southern southern part mm. uh, of the Rocky Mountain range. Uh, 
there's been so much activity, earth changes, you name it, mm -hmm. and and then a war on top of that, and then a civil war in this, you know, it became the Republic, mm -hmm. and the eastern part was called the Union. Mm -hmm. The Republic, mm -hmm. the new Republic, by the way, of the United States, wow. and the eastern Union, which they still call the United States, and back and forth. So the Republic of America, probably, huh? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm struggling for words here, but yeah. Okay. New Republic of America, Eastern Union of whatever United States. There was a definite divide, and it wasn't like our last Civil War, the you know, the uh, rebels and the Yankees of the North and the South, this was like huge. And there was a lot of busy activity going up and down, down the rivers, down river, and then up against the current, like these smaller boats and things. And they were carrying cargo back and forth, but a lot of it was kind of on rafts that or rafted things, little barges, mm -hmm. barks that looked like <laughs> they had been loaded. And you could tell they were ammunitions. Uh, the remnants of what they had of, of, of tanks or military equipment or whatever. You know, shipping them down river and then bringing food and supplies back up river from the southern part of where this big water divide was. Hmm. And I remember now, clearly, this is one of those experiences, you smell it, feel it, you're there. Mm -hmm. It was like the clock. Thank you again for being with us, and uh, <clears throat> we'll see you next time. <laughs>